Hey folks, welcome to Build Fly Go. So this has come up in some of the Facebook groups once or twice now, people asking about uh, designing doublers and sort of asking other people to make them. And I just wanted to show how easy this is. This is Fusion 360. It's a free for non-commercial use uh, version of it. You can download it, just go get it. Um, and here's what I'm doing. This is a flat design so super easy I just created a drawing on the top plane and uh, looking at the Garmin manual the Garmin uh, drawing on the right side of the screen you can see sort of the outline of the GHA 15 so that was the first thing I did right well I did a rectangle about a half inch wider in all directions than the GHA 15 and then I drew in the cutouts for the screws and the connector which are on the Garmin dock so super easy the next thing is right you need to fasten this doubler to the skin of the aircraft and uh, you take a peek at AC 4313 to B there's not a ton of guidance in there um, so I looked at that and I'm also gonna look at the Garmin uh, antenna doubler design, which is also in the G3X manual, um, and take a peek at, right, like how many rivets are they expecting for an antenna of roughly this size, what is the rivet spacing, things like that. So I'm playing around with a, uh, I believe it's a rectangular matrix or something like that to sort of move the, the rivets around to see what makes sense to where to put them. Um, and I'm not super happy with how they look. So in the end, I end up deleting the matrix and just placing them by myself. The GA35 antenna Garmin, if I remember right, it's their GPS antenna uh, for, which is roughly this size, they say 12 rivets uh, all around. So I start with um, a little more than that. Or rather, I start with about 12 rivets and then I'm looking at the placement of the screws that go into this and I decide that, right, like the spacing of these rivets doesn't make a ton of sense. They're really close um, to uh, where things are. I actually think there's 14 there now. Yeah, there's 14 there and I decided to go down to 12. Um, so you'll see in a little bit that I take out the those center ones um, top and the bottom and I just increase the spacing a little bit uh, for the the horizontal ones yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out where my where my rivet uh, parameters are not working out there <laughs> um, so what you're seeing me do here is I am making all of the rivet holes uh, equal Right, like I set the diameter on one of them and then I make them all equal. Um, and then I'm making things horizontal with each other or vertical with each other so I don't have to, to, to sort of chase dimensions for everything. And then I can put the dimensions just on the sort of the, the top ones and one, one of the ones down the side and it just makes life a little easier. You're, you see that I'm at this point spacing them out uh, so that it fits. Um, I'm trying to, I'm confirming that 0.098 is really the number 40 drill size, right? Like I, I want to make sure to do this, uh, get this cut once. Um, and sure enough, it is. So I did remember it correctly. And there we go, right? Like I'm spacing these out a little more because they they were just too, they were too close to the, the bolt holes and it didn't make sense. And there were just too many rivets. And it turns out that 12 rivets is really what Garmin had suggested for the GA 35 and 10 anyway, which is roughly the size. So I figured might as well. Um, here I've converted it to a flat design. Uh, I changed it to a sheet metal and then I noticed, oh, I forgot to put in the nut plate rivets. So <laughs> here we are. Um, I'm just lining up all of the nut plate rivets, setting the, making them equal, making them horizontal, setting the size. I'm going to set the size in just a second there and then set the spacing. And uh, of course, I don't know off the top of my head what the spacing is for this or the mil spec number. So I just Googled for nut plate, found the, the correct uh, mil spec. And yep, there it is. And then uh, look at some of these websites. No, can't find it. Oh, here we go. There's a diagram with it. And I know it's an L03 um, because, it, because of the Garmin diagram showing me that it's a 1032 drill uh, hole. 
geez, screw. And uh, so there we are. So now we know the spacing. Um, let's, yep, let's redo the flat panel real quick and then export it. And then I'm going to pop it into Send Cut Send because I, they're who I like to do my uh, cuts with. And there we go. Super, super easy. It's uh, eight bucks each.